we're going to cover normal filtration methods at this time. And what we're looking at on this particular machine is filter one, which is a spin disc filter. When you see the motor housing here, you know that that is really a spin disc because they are spun literally during inside that housing. So filter one is comprised of a spin disc housing. It's comprised also of a deco housing or decolorization or all carbon housing. Inside of this is a standard cartridge. Whatever solvent passes through the spin disc also passes through the cartridge. The typical pressure that you should see on a pump is about 12 psi or just short of one bar. And this is normal pressure when it's absolutely clean. Okay, Scott. The second filter is a cartridge filter. This particular cartridge filter holds one jumbo or two splits. And this, again, has a gauge on it. It also operates at about 12 psi. And each of these do have air bleeds. So whenever you put a new cartridge in here, or a new cartridge here, you want to be able to bleed that air off by manually opening the bleed valve. Each of these vessels can be dropped to the still and typically will be drained overnight when you're getting ready to change or put new cartridges in. And that really is filtration.